Hello from Portland, Oregon. My name is Aaron Shear, and in this video we're going to use NIAWR Microwave Office to perform a DC analysis on this circuit here, which contains five lumped element resistors, a couple ideal voltage sources, and an ideal current source, and we're interested in finding these node voltages and the currents through the elements as shown. First thing we're going to do is open up our AWR design environment. Okay, once it's opened, it by default starts a new project, which is what we want. Let's look here in the project tree and look for the icon that says circuit schematics. Right click and click new schematic. Let's call this something like DC analysis example. And then it opens up a new schematic. We can think of this as a blank canvas that we can add our circuit elements to. Circuit elements are found in this tab. So look here at the project tree. Below is this elements tab. Click on that. And these are the different elements we can add. Let's look for lumped element. Click here. Click on resistor. And these are all the different lumped element resistor models. And let's click right here. Resistor closed form. This is your basic lumped element, good old fashioned resistor that obeys Ohm's law. So let's click here and move it to the canvas. And there's our first resistor. If we highlight it by clicking on it, hit Control C to copy, click off of it and hit Control V, we can paste another one. Now we want to rotate this, so I click highlight it, Control R, the icon changes to this new icon that tells you that it can rotate. I'm going to click with my mouse and rotate it and move this information tag over there. Let's move this over there. We need three more. So I highlight it, control C, control V, and control V a few more times. Now let's find our ideal voltage source. That is found right there in sources. And then DC sources, and here's our different models, and we want DC voltage source. So I click, drag it over, and drag the next one over there. And then we want our current source. There's our current source, and we want to rotate this. So I hit highlight it, control R, and rotate. Move the tag over there. Let's kind of clean this up. Okay, now we want to wire everything together. To do that, click on the terminal of one of these elements, these X's, and the cursor should change to this lasso looking thing. So there's the lasso, it tells you it's ready to wire. So I click, move to another terminal, and then it puts the wire there. So let's wire this up. Okay, and then once we're done wiring, let's see, we don't want to forget our all important ground. So our ground is right here. This icon click, move it over. There's our ground. Now we want to enter in the element values. This resistor is 1 ohm. That's what we had originally. That's fine. This one we want to change to 0 0.2 ohms. Double click, type in 0.2, enter. This one, 2, enter. This one, Point four, enter. This one, point five, and enter. This voltage source is five volts. This voltage source is zero point two, actually negative zero point two. Now this current source should be two amps. Now, right now the default units is milliamps, so I can set this as two thousand milliamps, no problem. Or I can change the default units. Let's change the default units. To do that, I go to Options, Project Options, click on Global Units tab. These are all the default units that you can change. I want to change milliamps to amps. Click, there's amps. Now when I click OK, look over here, this 10 should change to 0 0.01, as it does, 0 0.01 amps. Change that to 2 amps. OK, everything is set. Now when you're ready to analyze the microwave office, you should save your project first. So let's save it, save project and call this something like example. Okay, everything's saved. Now we click on the Analyze button, and nothing happens. Um, 
nothing happens because we haven't told microwave office what we actually want to analyze for which is the voltages and currents so do that we click over here on draw go down to add annotation and these are some measurements that you can perform on the schematic itself so here's a description of the measurement and I believe it's the second one the second one when I click it goes annotate DC input currents for all elements that's what we want we hit OK or apply and now I'm going to analyze again it's actually going to simulate and when it's done it shows the currents on the schematic magnitude and direction so 4.5 amps going up like that 2.5 amps going down it's pretty much how to do it now let's say we want to add voltages node voltages before we do that let's go down to this project tree and click on the project tab and click here this is the circuit schematic that we created and this icon that's here refers to the fact that we are simulating for currents that we had that add annotation currents now let's go to draw add annotation we want node voltages which is there annotate DC voltages for all nodes now as soon as I hit apply or OK or we'll do apply a new icon will show up underneath this signifying to you that there's also a voltage measurement so look right here when I hit apply and another icon shows up tells you what the other measurement is um, let's also there's another one annotate DC power for all elements let's actually do that too so there's three measurements we're gonna look at and it will show up once you hit analyze <clears throat> so here after I clicked analyze it shows you the let's see it shows you the node voltages so 0.5 volts and 0.5 volts and the currents and the power that's absorbed in each element so this resistor is absorbing 2.03 times 10 to the fourth milliwatts and this voltage source is supplying 2.25 times 10 to the fourth milliwatts it's you can tell it's supplying because current is going from a low voltage to a high voltage and for resistors they're always absorbing um, power and you can tell because the current's always going from a higher voltage source which is 5 volts to a lower which is 0.5 volts of course these voltages are all with reference to ground now if you wanted to not look at these currents anymore you can go over here click on this box and then hit delete and then reanalyze oh maybe that wasn't the currents um, I guess that was the power but let's say let's delete this there so now we can only look at the voltages so that's how you can um, move these labels off the schematic and if we wanted to measure the currents again we'd have to go to draw and add annotation click on this and get the currents back um, real quick one other thing you can do is tune an element tune a variable so let's click here on this tune tool and all this does is it's saying basically select the variables that you would like to tune let's tune this resistance 1 ohm which means we want to see how the voltages and currents change when I change this resistance so I click on that and now it's kind of a blue color and you can click on multiple variables we just want one and then when you're done with selecting which variables you want to tune you go to actually tune itself and then you get this thing so this is a slider so if I slide this up and down this resistance is going to change and hopefully these values it will re-simulate in real time and I'll get my new currents and voltages notice before we do that that there's zero amps going through this resistor it's 0.5 volts 0.5 volts so this thing is actually in some kind of equilibrium where there's no current going through this resistance if I change this resistor that will disturb the equilibrium and you should get currents let's find that move up and in real time you can see how the currents change so I just slid this up and now it's 1.27 ohms and it recalculates all the voltages and currents and that is the basics of performing a DC circuit analysis using NI AWR microwave office